Hi everyone. I have a an update here. I was able to squeeze in a bit of time uh, while my son is uh, visiting his mother. And uh, here is my secondary coil uh, pickup that uh, is tuned to its best location to pick up uh, the radiating energy of the uh, toroid. And um, that is scoped by one probe. Uh, to my uh, USB oscilloscope here and then is going through a uh, single uh, diode rectifier so just rectifying one side which is the red wire here to the which is the positive and the green wire here is the ground and what I've done is I've just connected it uh, to the uh, small capacitor of the uh, 555 circuit right there and um, the ground is connected to this point here. So what I've changed is in the 555 uh, timer circuit I, I obtained a CMOS uh, 555 uh, chip uh, to change the previous one and this uh, CMOS uh, chip uh, utilizes uh, only microamps and uh, the idea is powering that from the uh, secondary uh, coil pickup here and powering the uh, 555 uh, circuit here to do the switching therefore we have an isolation happening uh, by the circuit but the circuit needs to be started to get that going and to do that I have this uh, dead 9 volt battery here which has got about 4 volts left and all I do is I'll uh, connect it here just for a second and it'll start the oscillation of the circuit and the secondary coil pickup will create enough energy to sustain the uh, 555 uh, timer since it's so energy efficient and um, I have my batteries connected there and we have 15.45 uh, volts uh, going to the circuit and um, I've got my quality meter as well uh, connected uh, across the uh, precision resistor here and that precision resistor is just a nichrome uh, piece of wire it's a pretty uh, thick enough gauge of wire it uh, it's doesn't would not create any heat whatsoever and um, I'll start the circuit and uh, I can't uh, unfortunately there is no over unity uh, I don't have any positive results happening with the circuit at this time and possibly uh, there is no over unity in this circuit as well um, unfortunately sometimes it's like that but uh, it's pointing out to me that uh, I don't think there's uh, excess energy uh, capable of collecting even though I had if I have more uh, coils here uh, when I have it closed looped here now I'm starting to see the current draw when I add another coil here even though the coil is uh, 90 degrees out of phase with the uh, uh, toroid coil it seems to still uh, increase the current draw when I bring another coil uh, close to there with a the load so I don't see it now at this time that the uh, we'd be capable of getting more energy out of this uh, circuit in particular but you know uh, what's interesting is there's you know people who are very knowledgeable in electronics who've been making comments like well the coil is probably not even pulsing you know it's just the uh, generator that's charging back the capacitors and what have you and that's not true because when I start this circuit this secondary coil pickup could not sustain the circuit if it wasn't you know obviously the MOSFET pulsing that coil. So that coil is being pulsed, that secondary is picking up enough energy to sustain the 555 timer to feed continuously feed the uh, MOSFET. But unfortunately I can't disconnect the battery clip because there is current being used. And let me start the circuit to show you what will be used. Uh, this is my uh, USB scope as well ready to uh, show you the uh, data there and uh, let's go ahead and start the uh, circuit what what I do to start the circuit is just get this battery close by and 
start the connection and I'll show you right now this is the pulses going to the uh, uh, MOSFET gate from the 555 circuit and now these are the uh, peaks here of the secondary coil pickup and there is the uh, data right there sorry about the shaking here so the circuit is tuned at about 35 uh, kilohertz and at uh, about 47, 48 uh, percent duty cycle and the uh, voltage peak to peak on the uh, gate is 3.81 and the RMS voltage on the secondary pickup coil is 3.63 volts. Oh, that's my uh, screensaver. So the circuit is in operation and if we look at our meters we have 15.19 volts and we have uh, 200 microamps uh, being drawn that's the uh, most sensitive scale there is um, and here is more exact accurate data we're uh, drawing 174 uh, microamps uh, at 15.18 volts and if I do the calculations I believe that energy there is what the uh, 555 uh, timer circuit uh, would be uh, utilizing. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do a test and uh, adjust the voltage so that I got that 555 circuit outputting about 3.81 volts and then calculate the uh, current and find out if it's the equivalent at 15.16 uh, volts and at 175 uh, 175 uh, microamps as well uh, for the uh, draw or the equivalent to it anyways at a lower voltage I think you might understand what I'm trying to say so obviously what this circuit is requiring is being fed by the uh, toroid and the secondary coil but I can't uh, pull off the battery uh, because if I do the circuit will slowly start dying because here if I do pull off the battery as you see the voltage is starting to drop and actually the, st the circuit stopped because it's very sensitive it really needs that voltage to be exact so let me uh, kick start it again here this is kind of neat to see this kick starting and you know the circuit uh, taken off immediately and you know you remove the battery nothing is uh, feeding that except for the circuit itself just looping back it's the first time I've done something like this and uh, there you see the uh, current uh, stabilizing itself there so I don't know if there's anything more that really can be done with this circuit uh, if anybody sees anything value well I don't see it at this point and I don't know if uh, I guess uh, maybe uh, all the skeptics were possibly right that this uh, energy was really coming from the uh, leaking of the uh, single generator or the 555 timer into the circuit creating that uh, charging back of the uh, capacitor bank when you disconnect the battery but you know we have to think that we were only sending somewhere around 60 uh, microamps uh, back to the ba to the capacitor banks and this circuit here is using more than 60 microamps uh, I can't give you a hundred percent confirmation that this has uh, got no uh, future or any of that, that. but uh, so far um, I don't know. I've done everything I can to uh, tune it to its uh, best uh, as possible. And uh, that's what I'm getting so far. So, you know, some uh, were right and some were wrong. For instance, you know, about this coil not even being uh, truly pulsed because that wouldn't be possible for the secondary to pick up if it wasn't being pulsed and continue to energize the 555 timer without a battery and uh, but uh, I guess it's not uh, you know capable of working itself uh, for free uh, anyways not at this time 
So that's about all I can do. Thanks for your support and watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.